Hey guys, Crypto Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at Graxpert again because it has a new version, version 3.0, which means that Graxpert no longer just does AI-based background extraction as well as non-AI-based uh, background extraction. It also does AI-based noise reduction. So it becomes a competitor to a noise exterminator, that expensive plugin for PixInsight. So we're gonna test it out today. Now, Graxpert, if you don't know, it's a standalone utility that is free with which you can open your astrophotography uh, pictures uh, when they're like unprocessed, kind of like in a linear stage. And directly within that software, you can remove the background and now also do noise reduction. And you can, you also have some plugins that are available in PixInsight if you want to run those same processes directly from the Pixel site interface without having to open up Graxpert as a separate piece of software. So how do you get Graxpert version 3.0? Well, you go to graxpert.com. I'll have the links down in the description or right in the description, of course. And for me, it was just a Windows uh, program. So you click that, it will download a, a .msi file, which you can then double click and run to actually install the software. In my case, it's already installed, so I don't have to do anything. But once Graxpert is installed, you can simply launch it from your start menu. So here it is, I'm searching for Graxpert. Here I am, I will launch it. And note that if you want to use Graxpert from PixInsight, which is what I'll be doing, uh, you will want to first launch it manually because it needs to download its AI models first. So launch it manually and download the AI models. So I'm going to click on load image here. We're gonna load a random image uh, for instance, M63, which I took uh, recently. And then we can go inside, like I said, the crop menu and say, yeah, okay, I'm gonna crop uh, uh, this way. Uh, this is an area where you may want to play with like this uh, Sigma thing to like uh, make the stretch even more visible. That's where you have more visibility into the image. Uh, apply a crop and then you can do a background extraction and we want to choose AI. Now what? will happen when you click on calculate background is that it will tell us that the uh, AI model is not installed and it asks us, should I download it now? And you, your answers to this is yes, absolutely you should download the AI model. So that's an important first step. It will not work without doing so. So if you try to use it directly from PixInsights, you'll get an error about the AI model not being found. While this is downloading, of course, in this video, we're gonna test the, uh, well, especially the noise reduction because the background extraction, we've already tested it on the channel, but we're gonna test the noise reduction on uh, three different scenarios and we're gonna compare it to noise exterminator, which is currently kind of like the reference for noise reduction, AI-based noise reduction in an astrophotography image. Okay, now you can see I have extracted the background and I should be able to go into the next step where I can choose like a denoising strength and then choose to denoise the image. But again, when I click on denoise the image, because this is the first time that I run this version 3.0 of the software, it will tell me that I need to download the AI model, which I will do now. So two very important steps before using Raxpert from PixInsight. Okay, and it's installed and it's denoised. And this is actually, I have not prepared for this video at all. This is the first time that I do a de denoising on the image and uh, at first glance, so if I switch between like uh, um, gradient corrected and denoised, it seems to have worked pretty darn well, especially in the, uh, in the background. If I stretch a bit more, denoised, uh, not background, gradient corrected, the noise, yeah, quite a bit of a difference. So this is actually really good, especially for a free tool. But we also want to run this from PixInsight and this is where I will be running my comparison tests. Now in PixInsight, if you want to use uh, Graxpert, the first thing it, that you want to do is you want to go to resources, uh, then we want to go to updates, manage repositories, and we want to make sure that we add uh, this is my current preferred one. So I'll put the link here in the description. You want to add this, say okay. And then afterwards you're gonna to want to go back to resources, updates, then check for updates. Once you do so, it will guide you through installing the, the updates and then you want to restart PixInsight. So close it and it will offer to install the updates and uh, restart it. Once that's done under script toolbox, you should have Graxpert and Graxpert denoise. So two different processes 
our script to manage Graxpert. There are alternatives for, for that that I'm testing, by the way. One of them is uh, Graxpert All-in-One. I'll also have the link to that repository down uh, in the description. And Graxpert All-in-One lets you do things directly within uh, the UI, both the background extraction and the AI denoising. In this particular one, you need to set the path to Graxpert by clicking this uh, little uh, uh, wrench icon at the top, at the bottom right. And for me, Graxpert was installed in this particular folder, so I just selected it and we are good to go. And if you're using the initial script that I mentioned under Toolbox and Graxpert, you want to make sure that you use the icon here at the bottom right and it will ask you, do you want to set the path to Graxpert automatically? I can try, but I'm never sure if it worked or not, so I'll say no and then select it here manually. And there we go, we have the path properly set here. And I can do the same thing for um, Graxpert Denoise. And we are done. And let me introduce you to our test images for today. We have uh, the Sunflower Galaxy M63, we have the Bode Galaxy uh, M81, and we have the Pac-Man Nebula. And I've already run Blur Exterminator on all of them and cropped the stacking art artifacts out. So they're all ready to have Graxpert for background extraction and then noise reduction applied to them. So let's start with the M63 uh, picture. This is with an APS-C size sensor and there are, there are considerable gradients there. The full moon or near full moon was pretty, co pretty close to that. So I'm just going to go to uh, Tools, uh, script toolbox and I'm going to put my smoothing at 0 0.5 because uh, the, the gradients are slightly sharp here at the bottom and just uh, confirm that I want to apply this to the image. It will open up Graxpert and run the process. And here we have the result with the background removed. So I'm just going to call that M63 uh, and have like uh, background removed. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to clone this M63 background uh, removed image. And on the clone, I will apply noise exterminator there. And let's say I'm going to put a strength of denoising that works pretty well for me usually of 0 0.6. And we are going to apply that to the image. And here we go. We have a very good uh, noise control, the usual amazing, you know, noise exterminator working really, really well as expected without murdering the details of the galaxy with my preferred setting strength of uh, 0 0.6. Uh, so let's call that uh, background removed and BXD for Blur Exterminator. And now we want to do the same thing, but with the Graxpert noise removal or noise like denoising process. So I'm not sure what is the good strength or even like uh, here we have like increase or decrease the strength of the noise removal. And here I'm going to start maybe with a strength of 0 0.6 because that's what I have with Blur Exterminator. I have no idea how equivalent they are, if at all, but you know, let, let's try with this number, randomly speaking. The batch size is kind of like an AI uh, parameter that's part of the advanced parameters on the Graxpert interface. The default is three, so I will not touch it and I will just apply this to the image. And here we have the results. So let's have a look uh, deeper. And uh, yeah, this is the before and the after. Uh, before, after, it seems to have worked very, very well. So now let's compare those two images side by side. By the way, if you want to learn more about like the details of Graxpert, uh, the, effectively the creators of Graxpert put out a video explaining the details on YouTube. So I'll have the links uh, down in the description as well, or right in the description, depending on your YouTube interface. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you may want to go down below, click that like button, leave a comment, uh, tell us your thoughts about Graxpert and your experience in using it or whether you want to use it or anything else really that you have in, on your mind. And if you want to support the channel even more at no cost to you and you're planning on buying anything from like High Point Scientific or Agena or Amazon, etc., if you do so after clicking the affiliate links I have in the video description, it helps the channel out at no cost to you. And if you're feeling grandiously generous and you want to support the channel really directly, you can join my Patreon or you can join the channel as a member using the join button next to subscribe. It truly, truly helps the channel out. So thank you so much.
Anyway, let's go to the comparison. So as a reminder, on the left, we have the uh, noise reduction by Craxpert, and on the right, we have the noise reduction by Noise Exterminator. And it seems very obvious that uh, both have done a very, very good job. Uh, if I if I zoom in, I can see that with the particular setting that I use, uh, Graxpert is really trying to preserve the details, and I feel it was actually more successful uh, than uh, Noise Exterminator. But Noise Exterminator, including in the background here, was much more aggressive at this setting of 0 0.6 in terms of noise reduction. So what if I try again with uh, Graxpert, but now I increase the noise reduction parameter to something like 1. Maybe it will give, give us something equivalent, because we can see we can scale the amount of noise reduction that we put on the image. Okay, and now we see almost the reverse situation. Still, like the details in the galaxy uh, on the left, so is Graxpert set to 1 as the denoising strength, the, the details are well respected, the background uh, becomes far too polished and much more than it is for noise, for noise exterminators. So you can see we don't seem to have quite a, like a linear re relationship between the denoising scale in Graxpert compared to the one in Noise Exterminator. And now I have tested with yet another setting in Graxpert, which was 0 0.8. And I feel now we are very, very close. It says 0 0.8 with Graxpert on the left, 0 0.6 with Noise Exterminator on the right. And they're very, very comparable. I don't know how well it will translate on YouTube. Um, honestly, I'll, I, I see almost no difference between the two, which is extremely high praise for Graxpert. And if anything, I feel like the details on the Grax Graxpert side might actually be slightly more contrasty, slightly better than on the noise exterminator side. I'm not completely sure it might just be like psychological. And this tells you something. This tells you that if you haven't bought noise exterminator, well, maybe you don't need to because Graxpert can do something very, very similar. Okay, let's try some other image. Okay, we're now on M81, and first I am going to run uh, the Graxpert background extraction. I have very abrupt gradients again, because yeah, I'm, I'm in Tokyo, what do you expect? So I'm, I'm gonna try even more aggressive in terms of the, uh, the lower smoothing, validate this. And here we have the results. So I'm just going to uh, name this M81 with uh, background removed. There we go. And just like before, I'm going to create a clone. And on the cloned image, I am going to run a Noise Exterminator. And on the original image, I'm going to go to my uh, Graxpert Denoise script and run it with what I think should be the equivalent, based on the previous image, of a strength of 0 0.8. And indeed, it seems the two settings are somewhat equivalent. And again, we see they're, they're both, like this is before, after and on the uh, noise exterminator uh, before and after it's uh honestly both tools are getting amazing results and yeah i mean I, it's very difficult to say which one comes ahead because they, they all they both have such similar results both are extremely impressive uh, I feel like the um, Graxpert approach, actually all those like this model in the background is less pronounced on the Graxpert side. I'm not sure what the reason is. Maybe Graxpert would lose more details in like fainter regions. Uh, but on the face of it, both uh, Graxpert and uh, the uh, noise exterminator image seem to have very similar details in the lower signal to noise ratio areas. And now let's look at my last sample, which is now a narrowband image. This is a sulfur 2 oxygen 3 uh, image of the Pac-Man Nebula. And so we're going to do exactly the same thing. So the first thing to show you, I'm just going to run the uh, Graxpert uh, background re reduction. And this time, because there's no abrupt backgrounds that I can see, I will put the set, the smoothing to 1. And even then, you can see this is a great example where uh, Graxpert does not work well. Even with a smoothing of one, I can feel that it's basically too, uh, too aggressive on the, uh, like it's, it's putting weird dark shadows that don't exist here. Uh, so far too aggressive. And we can see the background here. So this is not a good fit for Graxpert as background extraction. 
So instead, I'm going to do a quick automatic uh, background extraction. I'm not using the new like gra gradient removal or whatever the name is process because I haven't found it working super well in my images, uh, but that's something else. And for now, I just do a subtraction with an interpret a function degree of two. And here we are. So this is the only image where we haven't used Graxpert for background extraction because it simply didn't work well on this particular sample. So just like before, I'm going to call that Pac-Man uh, background removed, and we're going to make a clone, and we're going to apply noise exterminator to the clone. So here we have noise exterminator, applying it to my Pac-Man nebula. And here we go. And we're going to do the same thing, but this time with Graxpert on the original. So toolbox, Graxpert denoise, and again, the strength of 0 0.8, which seems to be roughly equivalent, maybe slightly stronger than the strength of 0 0.6 on the noise exterminator process. And this is what we're getting. Let's do the side-by-side -side comparison. So on both processes, this is before and after. And before and after, it's a big change on both. And I feel like both processes have performed extremely well. If I look at those shadow areas here, um, it feels like Graxpert has been smoothing out the noise more and very successfully at that. And it's been extremely successful in the rest of the areas here. I like the transition between like the teal color and the red color in Graxpert more than I do in Noise Exterminator. Again, I'm not sure how well it's going to translate with the YouTube compression. But at the same time, if we look at contrast, we can see that uh, Noise Exterminator keeps the contrast of that dark area compared to the background teal far better than Graxpert does. Graxpert looks much more diffuse there uh, compared to Noise Exterminator. And the same is true for this dark nebula here. We're losing contrast in Graxpert processed image compared to uh, Noise Exterminator. Uh, but overall, I feel like uh, Graxpert is like an equivalent to Noise Exterminator, and uh, if used well, might actually be superior. I don't know if it is or not, but it is at the very least an equivalent, extremely close. So if you are on the fence about Noise Exterminator, well, uh, test out Graxpert first for denoising because it is extremely impressive. So there you have it, the new version of Graxpert, uh, which stands for Gradient Expert, but I feel like uh, you guys may want to rename the software. I don't know to what, but that noise reduction uh, feature is incredible. I I'm, I'm uh, incredible, super impressive. First version and they come out like, they came out swinging with like the original Graxpert, then they came out swinging with the Graxpert AI, then they came out swinging with the very first version of their denoiser. Who are you geniuses? Amazing, seriously, simply amazing. Guys, what are your thoughts? Let us know down in the comment, like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, in which case, welcome to the channel. And if you buy anything from Agena, Highpoint, etc., use the affiliate links in the description first to support the channel at no cost to you. You can join my Patreon, join my channel as a member for even more direct help, but more important than all of that, Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.